Hi, my name is Natalie, and this is Natalie Lawyer Chick. I'll be discussing popular topics through a legal lens. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, YouTube. My name is Natalie. Welcome to my channel. I'm a criminal defense attorney, and today's video is going to be a reaction to a driving under the influence arrest. Now, I actually really enjoy doing these videos because I find them to be informative and entertaining, you know, guilty kind of entertaining. And so I actually really enjoy these. And so thank you to my viewers who suggested this particular video. I uh, wanted to also let you guys know that today channel memberships have launched and the membership is $2.99 a month and your membership will include one exclusive video on the 15th of every month as well as a shout out at the end of every video and emojis and badges that are exclusive to channel members only. So you get to show off that you're an official chicklet. We already have people signing up, which <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was actually very surprised about, but we already have people signing up. So if you guys are interested, please do click the join button and let's get right into the reaction. Dude, you just blew the red, man. Yeah, no, I didn't see it. This went through a red light. So I always do a check on what's the reason for the traffic stop because the officer needs reasonable, articulable suspicion that criminal activity is afoot. So he went through the red light. That's the reason for the stop. 84 negative. Are you good? Me? Yeah, I'm good. Are I you hurt? Some, I just got some glass in there. I didn't know. I was paying attention to the right. Are you hurt, man? I mean, you got some good damage here, man. That's the traffic light on top of his car. That's the traffic light on top of his car. Oh my gosh. Why do you guys, yeah, why do you guys step out of the car? Oh, he's got a passenger. <laughs> stop moving, stop. No, 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 no. Park the car, man. Okay, your vehicle's still moving, man. Hit your parking brake up. Oh, he's so messed up. Oh. Can you step out, man? Oh, that's coughing. Oh. Why are you coughing like that? Yeah, let's see what you guys have. When is this from? 2021? Mm, he got the Rona. What are you coughing like? In May? You don't have a cold. You don't have the flu. Not in May. That's the Rona coughing like that. It's out here. Come on. Oh. Oh. Here, step over here, man. Step over here. What's up, Do you have an idea on you, man? Oh, idea? I think it's in my car. Oh, man. I thought that he just ran the red light. He definitely did more than one run the red light. He also ran into a traffic light and it is laying on top of his car. So yeah, I think that they have more than RAS to make a traffic stop. Jeez Louise. Oh. Sorry about that, man. I was in my place. I, had, I was running to my place. So I had a shit so fucking bad. They might shit my pants to be honest with you. This is so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Should I keep reacting to this? I'm trash. Let's go. Okay. I mean, you're just not paying attention? What's. I was I was not paying attention at all. Okay. You had anything to smoke tonight? Man. You had a drink? The way his friend is over there, just sitting there in his phone, like he's not really involved in this where he was just pulled out of a car where a traffic light was like his nonchalant friend is distracting me <laughs> i think he's had more than something to smoke officer there's a bong in the front <laughs> okay so now he has some indication of use uh, Okay, that's that's one of the factors that the officer considers in a DUI, manner of driving, and an accident is manner of driving, the presence of any substances, and the behavior of the defendant. Good? Good? My leg kind of hurts. A little shaky, but my leg hurts a little bit, yeah. 
Oh, he's gonna be in so much trouble if he injured this officer, which it sounds like he did. Yeah, I said his total or no? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, he's comfortable. Um, talk about a total lack of awareness. He's just like, yeah, you think my car is totaled? Like that's all he's focused on because he just bought this car. Look at his eyes. Oh, pobrecita. Oh, look at his eyes. Oh my goodness. That's not good. This is not fun. This is not funny. Driving under the influence is not funny. It's dangerous. He could have hit some children in a car. He could have hit anyone other than a police officer whose car might be a little bit better able to handle that type of impact and seriously injured someone. He could have seriously injured this police officer. So they obviously don't drink and drive. I don't even need to say that, right? But this is so ridiculous. Like homeboy is so out of it that he's just walking up behind the officer like, yeah, but about my car being totaled, because your car is fine. You got the guard on it, you're fine. My car, what's going on with that? Like he's really, Worried about the wrong things, baby. Okay. You don't remember, but... Yeah, I honestly, it's just so fast, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I just bought that car fucking three weeks ago. <laughs> His priorities are all messed up. You can go ahead and do whatever type of test you have to do on it, though. Okay, but you can put it back in your pocket. At this point... The officer would have probable cause, you know, to search him because they have enough to arrest him. Um, but even without fields, they have enough to arrest him and they can search him incident to arrest. But never say, you know, you can search me if you want, because if they were to go to trial and say something else was found on him, like a weapon of some type, and then this is escalated far beyond what you expected that it would, your attorney would not be able to keep that out because you have consented to a search. So I know a lot of people want to be, you know, uh, generous and, and seem like they're on the up and up, but you're already in a lot of trouble. It's best to just stay silent. And with your heels and toes touching? Yeah. Completely touching like me. Like this? And put your hands at your side. Hands on my side. No. Oh. <laughs> wow. First instructional phase. Uh, this is what he's getting into the instructional phase of either the one leg stand or the walk and turn heel to toe test. And I'm thinking this is the walk and turn and he couldn't even stay in the instructional phase for a second. He fell out of it right away. That's another, that's an immediate clue when it comes to the standardized field sobriety test. Now, I have had people ask me when it comes to people that are stopped for suspicion of driving under the influence of drugs, not driving under the influence of alcohol, why didn't the officer just give him a breathalyzer and send him on his way, right? Or arrest him or whatever. Breathalyzers are only for the presence of alcohol on your breath and it is not uh, able to test for anything else. It can't test for any type of drugs, prescription or otherwise. It can't test for marijuana, anything like that. It can only test for the concentration of alcohol in the breath. In some jurisdictions like Washington DC, where they have a prevalence of PCP usage, officers can use on the road urinalysis. They can ask the person to give a urine sample and do a presumptive test right there. The person can refuse it, but they can, uh, it's usually, they'll do that with a man, or they'll bring them down to the station and have them do a urinalysis because the breath test does not work. So um, usually when it comes to things that are not alcohol, all they have for presumptive testing is the standardized field sobriety test. Do I think that they're necessarily accurate? No, because a person's performance on the test could be due to factors other than inebriation, such as physical ailments, diabetes, you know, um, knee issues, back issues, natural balance issues, nystagmus can be something that someone is born with. I always point this out. People that have albinism are do tend to have uh, nystagmus, which is one of the tests on the field sobriety test. Um, there's a whole bunch of reasons that people may act a certain way that doesn't necessarily mean that they're under the influence of something. We all know Jacob's on something right now. He's even at this point admitted to it. But I'm just saying that, no, I, I, I always get that question. What? what are these accurate? Why do they do this? You know, do, why don't they just skip right to the breath test? That's why, no, I don't think they're particularly accurate. They uh, sweep too many people into 
the category of being under the influence. And what it really shows is that you are inebriated or unable uh, to drive. You're unable to operate a motor vehicle at that particular point. It doesn't show necessarily why you're unable to drive. Okay. Try it again, just like me. Okay. Okay, stand this is vertical nystagmus and this is where someone is trained an officer will be trained as a dre which is a drug recognition expert this is a controversial area of um you know a detection of someone being under the influence because we have found in our practice criminal defense attorneys um and people that are like associated with the national association of criminal defense attorneys that these tests have not been really scientifically proven to bear out whether or not someone is under the influence of something other than alcohol. They have a really hard time with that uh, and proving it beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. They have a much easier time with alcohol. There's a larger sample size for that. They've been doing those tests for a lot longer. But when it comes to the vertical uh, gaze nystagmus test, what they're trying to do is make the person look up to see if there's twitching once they look up past a certain uh, angle, basically. But there really isn't much uh, scientific uh, proof that that actually does prove that someone's under the influence of drugs. It, it really, there really isn't a strong correlation between vertical nystagmus and the consumption of some type of drug. And you really have to think about the fact that, look, there's so many different types of drugs out there, whereas alcohol is basically just alcohol. It doesn't matter if it's vodka, it doesn't matter if it's beer, your body metabolizes it all the same way and it all has the same effects on your body. And it, chemically speaking, it's all the same. That's not the same when it comes to Xanax versus uh, heroin versus um, marijuana versus cocaine. You, though all those things metabolize in your body differently and cause different effects, different side effects, different symptoms. So it's really hard to have one test to test for all drugs. And that's why this vertical gaze nystagmus, it, it, it's informative for me because it lets me know, okay, they really think it's drugs. They don't think it's alcohol. That's why they're doing that. But it's also informative for you as the regular everyday motorist that it really doesn't prove anything. Stand over. Yep. All right. I'll give me one more chance to be honest with you. All right. Yeah. And and this is really where it is. I think Jake will probably just and and they need him to incriminate himself with having done more than smoked alcohol. But they smoked alcohol. Oh my gosh! Like this is how you know I was having issues with editing this video because what was I even saying? Smoked alcohol. <laughs> Smoke marijuana have enough here for him being under the influence of marijuana even if they're in a state where marijuana is legal or decriminalized in a recreational capacity it is still not legal to consume marijuana to the point where you're intoxicated and then to operate a motor vehicle that's still a crime so they don't really need an admission that he's taken more than marijuana but it seems like it seems like he has you're on something else uh -huh. Yeah, something else. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I was like, it's the index. Yep. Yesterday. No, okay. you took that way re more recent than yesterday. More recent than yesterday? Just be honest with me. <laughs> Jake, don't be honest with them. Be quiet, Jake. <laughs> Jacob, be quiet. Shut up. <laughs> Come on, officer. You got him already. You got him on the pot. <laughs> quiet, Jacob. Uh, yeah, no, they needed that admission from him. Uh, because there was really, uh, I mean, they know he's intoxicated. They know he's inebriated. They know it's more than weed. Will they be able to prove that in a court of law? Uh, my argument is that they don't need to. They have enough for driving under the influence of marijuana, but I, they genuinely want to know what the heck is going on here. And it's a little more serious to a jury if it's marijuana versus it's Xanax. And there's no way for them to prove it's anything other than marijuana which they have in the car, which he's admitted to just taking, without an admission from him. They have no other way to really get it. Now, in other states, my state, for example, if there is an accident involved, right, they can get a court order to take the person to the hospital and get a blood or a urine sample. 
and they would have been able to do that basically right away. It happens right away. You're automatically authorized uh, to, to take that step when the person has caused an accident, especially one as serious as this. So none of this stuff would have happened in my state. They would have just taken them straight to the hospital. Now he was saying he didn't need medical treatment, so maybe they needed him to be admitted to the hospital to do it. But they, in my state, they would have just taken him to the hospital and gotten and, and done, a, done a blood draw and tested the blood for uh, drugs or alcohol. And that would have saved a lot of time and been far more accurate than those field sobriety tests. Like, be, be straight so I can get the right. salt. But I can tell you're not normal. Like, so I'll, 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 take, I'll, take, I'll take a half, I take a half of one. Like, just, like, when you smoked two hours ago or what? Yeah, I smoked two hours ago. You took ago. a half as any? Yeah. Okay, it looks like you took a lot more than a half, to be honest. Man. It's messing no, you took, up pretty good. <laughs> well, you don't know if he, uh, what his tolerance level is, right? And that's the thing with people taking prescription drugs that are not meant for them. You, He might not have any experience with it and so be really uh, intoxicated by it or inebriated by it compared to someone who is used to Xanax. I, I would think he's taken more than half a pill just based on his uh, size. Uh, he's a pretty tall guy, uh, not heavy or anything, but you know, he's got a good frame on him. So given his size, he's probably over six feet, probably approaching 200 pounds, probably in the 190s, 180s, something like that. I, I think that more than he's had more than half a Xanax, but maybe it's been Half his Xanax plus a lot of weed. And here we are today with Jake looking the way he looks, running into uh, the light pole. I think a half, I don't know. These things fucked me up. Yeah. I just got so much shit going through my mate. Right, yeah. you know, and it's just. Okay. okay. All right, just hang tight with this guy really quick, okay? Don't go anyways. I'll give Jacob this. He runs his mouth way too much, has said completely incriminating things, but he's nice and he's respectful, and I'll give him that. How's it going? How's it going, Jake? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I was going too fast. Yeah, just tell everybody you were going too fast. Keep admitting to all the crimes you've committed tonight, Jake. Oh, Lord. Listen, Jake, I, I hope you never see this video. But if you ever do, get sober. And I feel like he could be like an actor or a comedian or something because he's just naturally funny, you know? Like he's just a naturally funny guy. You're wasting your life doing this, man. You're endangering yourself and others, <sighs> you know? I find him to be uh, an engaging person, very friendly, but um, doing some very dangerous, foolish things. Keep watching your feet. Don't stop walking till you've completed the test. Okay. Do you understand? Yep, I understand. Do you have any too. questions? Are we still doing these fields? I, I, why? The man is intoxicated. He's admitted to taking Xanax. He's admitted to smoking weed. There's weed in the car. He's caused an accident with a police officer. I, I get going by the book. I'm all about going by the book. But really, you're gilding the lily at this point. You don't need any more field sobriety tests. You, you know he's impaired. You can prove this to a jury beyond a reasonable doubt. Just make the arrest, process the scene, and uh, I don't get it. Okay, get back in the starting position first. Right foot in front. Right foot in front. Right foot in front of your left. Right foot in front. Put your right foot in front first. Okay, now you can begin if you understand. Ooh. <laughs> and he's saying one Mississippi. Come on. Some of y'all are going to be so mad that I think he's so adorable. <laughs> but I do. I'm sorry. And, you know, a lot of my clients are people that have made, you know, mistakes. And so I see a shade of variety of people. And uh, sometimes it's about seeing their personality through the mistake. <laughs> and the fact that he said one Mississippi while he was uh, walking. I've never seen anyone do that before. That's just, that's just kind of cute. Yep, just like I explained. Right. No one gets the turn right, but that was really bad. <laughs> and I, I complimented him too soon. Um, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, two Mississippi. 
So I just wanted to put this clip in here uh, while it was editing because I wanted to show you guys that a lot of the times when people are showing that they're having early signs of addictions issues, it's because something is going on at home or something is going on in their life um, that precipitated it. So he's young enough where if he seeks help, he might be able to get ahead of it. Who did it come out of? Zero. Zero. Did you eat today? Did I eat today? No, I didn't eat. You haven't eaten anything? No. Did you sleep at all? Sleep at all. When did you sleep? When did you sleep last night? I went to bed around 8 o'clock. Last night? Yeah. What time did you get up? Probably around 10 or 11. And then I was sitting at Koichi, eating some donuts, and I just passed out. Okay. You don't take any prescription pills for anything? No. I think I should probably say it next to someone every once in a while when I'm going through a hard time, you know. Okay. So my thoughts going through my head, you know, and so much bullshit, you know, it's just yep. trying to block it out, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Come on. Don't drink and drive. Don't smoke weed and drive. Like, don't hot box and drive. It's not right. Don't do that. It's not fair to everyone else on the road. Your reactions are slow. Do not take Xanax and drive. Uh, don't do these things. You put yourself in danger. You put other people in danger. That could have been a minivan with a mom with kids. And you would have, you know, ruined your life for the rest of your life. Instead of just hitting a patrol car that was equipped to take the damage. You could have killed your passenger. You could have killed yourself. Do not drink and drive. Also, you know, they have the case without you volunteering all that information. So just remain silent, you know, be polite, remain silent. Um, they were going to be able to make that arrest and get Jacob off the street that evening. Uh, but Jake did a lot to help incriminate himself and help them with their investigation. I would love to know what you guys think about this case. Please let me know in the comment section down below. I love to talk with you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye. And now it's time to shout out the channel members. Megs, Gecko2007, Casey, Kat Gallagher, William Stewart, Azure, Jamie Wyatt, B, Sarah, Devil's Advocate, New Wave Nancy, Diana, Eva Roberts, Just Ducky, Jack Whitestein, Catherine McManus, Alicia L, Raya L, Jan Beaton, Boston Girl 55, who gets a special shout out for being the first ever channel member, Carol Ann, It's Hammer Time, Iva, Amanda Page, Devlin Eilenfeld, Enchanted Wolf, oh, oh, Sandy, Savannah Street, Sam I Am, I Am Sam, and I Don't Like Green Eggs and Ham, John Miwa, Alexander May, Lynn2574, Edward Estrada, Christine Gregory, Regina W, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, Cindy Blake, Liz Pantelis, Ben Ryan, Jess, True Crime Fan, Me Too, Ryan Blackhawk with the best hat on YouTube, Kiana Armstead, Tom Castro, B. Ryan S. Runway Runway, Ginger Dandelion, Becky Gifford, Fafanella, Miss Opinionated, Arian Rod with the beautiful owl, RIP to Hedwig, Rose's Two Cents, and Anika Sim, and Cat Attack with the cutest but scariest looking kitty here on this channel. Thank you guys so much for your continued support.